Hi guys. So, um, I was about to do a tweet, um, something I do on a daily basis. Uh, so if you haven't uh, um, subscribed yet to my Twitter, you should certainly do so. Um, but um, I know you guys uh, love my videos, so um, and it's been a while huh? in this crypto market. You don't say anything for two weeks, and uh, well, it's like uh, a very big time frame because so much happens in crypto. It's amazing, but um, Bitcoin uh, went above two thousand dollars now. It's at $2,150 and, uh, and the altcoins have uh, boomed, especially those of Blue Magic Capital. If you have been following them, um, their biggest positions, Game Credits and Sia Coin have been pumping hard uh, the past few weeks. And uh, that's of course uh, absolutely amazing. NXT order has also done very well and today Zcash exploded um, so my portfolio is doing very very well I have after the last video um, I was still 8% crypto and 20% fiat I, I, I bumped that up to 30% fiat but then the market went up again and so I'm again today at 20% fiat but again I'm bumping it to 30% fiat today so the past half year my portfolio has done just absolutely astonishing well uh, it has actually five folded my total portfolio and and that's because I was of course 80% in crypto and then such if crypto market goes up a lot then uh, your to your portfolio goes up a lot too. My portfolio has even gone up more than the crypto market because the total crypto market cap since the start of the year uh, to date it's around 70 billion. How was it at the start of the year? I'm sorry, I forgot. But yesterday I did my calculation. I said, "Wow, my my portfolio has done even better than the total crypto market." or about the same but that's an extremely well result because I've never been 100% in crypto eh? and I've been locking in profits about five times now and so um, that means that my selections have been better than the average of the crypto market I think this is something you should really verify um, because Everybody does well, of course, today in a crypto market. So how do you judge whether someone has the talent to make good selections or not? They need to outperform the crypto market. And that's not an easy task. Um, and, 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 but, but that's important to do for yourself also. Um, and and uh, I did that uh, very well. And it's thanks to having well anyways uh, if you've seen my video you know what it is thanks to but um, today uh, also I've been talking with some people I went to a Bitcoin meetup recently and um, and uh, I feel really there's only a few people that seem to be afraid and I'm also afraid. <laughs> this is what happens to me. I see the, my portfolio goes up, going up, um, uh, and I'm very happy. I'm like, wow, that's amazing. Same time, I'm really afraid. Part of me is very afraid that this will all collapse. And so that part is really helping me to lock in profits. So today we're again eh, going to 30%, and that's still not enough. Eh? My target is now. 40% actually 45% and and once we breach $2,300 it is 60% uh, so then I want a majority in crypto uh, sorry in fiat and when I say fiat I mean 
everything that is not crypto I, I mean I don't invest in fiat of course but I invest in gold and and, and, and many other investments um, but today I don't have time for that so the only thing I'm doing is basically when I balance my portfolio I cash out into fiat and then later I will invest that into other non crypto related investments because the biggest risk in this market and it becomes a small risk but it's still a risk is that crypto fails this is possible um, it is possible because because the real utility of crypto is still extremely low it's only in some dark markets where you really need those cryptocurrencies for anything else you don't really need them yet and and crypto in my opinion is it's still a risk that it does not succeed I know for some people this is stupid talk but um, but I think it's possible and so that's that's one thing like if crypto fails okay I, I have to say more about this because maybe I many people believe that that's not not realistic um, well what comes up in my mind is for example communism because that was also something that was really communism started in the 20s 30s 1920 1930 1940 before that um this did, this did not exist um and and, and communism was a, a a tragedy for the countries that lived under that eh? the idea that the government should manage all business affairs and so no private business is allowed um, is, is a crazy idea and uh, but still it happened and it caused uh, tremendous um, of course luckily in the world technology does evolve you have just basic competition between you and human beings causes that we get better at things and, 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 and so even in communism you had innovations that were implemented like the, the green revolution of industrial, industrializing uh, farm, uh, farming of course creates more wealth, uh, um, more crops for less energy input and, and, and using uh, uh, oil products and all that created also in the communist countries for uh, a bigger production but still because it was managed by the government and not by private individuals and private enterprise um, the, 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 the wealth uh, of, of the people did not go up um, that much compared to um, other regions and, um, and, and, and um, many of the people that were born uh, died um, died uh, at a young age or um, yeah so this happened in Russia and in China uh, mainly but um, th that's a tragedy to happen to a country uh, it's it, it doesn't go up in a straight line um, sometimes countries nations uh, take just a, a step back it also happened in the West with the dark ages uh, the Middle Ages um, and 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 uh, where where there was almost no progress and sometimes huge pieces of the population died um, and okay this is far-fetched as of course an absolute disaster scenario but you can have this also on a smaller scale where great in great great technology and great innovations just fail to break through and, and, and crypto is still has that chance to fail to break through um, there's the legal part uh, that if the US government 
just the US government some political actors there decide to outlaw it very likely that that would would put I it would still probably be used in the dark markets but I mean the valuation of cryptocurrencies might go down a lot um, even though it still has functionality uh, it might be valued a lot lower because today we're not anymore at 100 million or or 1 billion market cap we're now at 70 billion market cap and 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 and, and those that have been pushing up market valuation of cryptocurrency these days are not black market uh, operators it's white market operators eh? vcs uh, hedge funds um, and, and, and basically, um, how do you say that in English, um, uh, Joe Average, eh? and all these people do look at the government uh, for, um, I, first they look at the government whether it's okay to do and only then they do it. If the government changes their mind, they will follow. So, so that's, that's a risk, a legal risk, but I think there's also a real utility risk here. Uh, Bitcoin, the leader, is taking more poor decisions and so Bitcoin is still going up a lot but um, it's because people want to make profits with speculation and investing there um, if you really use Bitcoin to buy something it doesn't make fin much financial sense and as Roger Ver because of the transaction fee now it's 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 going up so so fast it's now between five and ten dollars you pay per bitcoin transaction that's if it's one input if you have if you, if you have to make a bitcoin transaction and 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 on that address you have different you receive different amounts then suddenly you have different inputs that need to go to one output and so you end up paying a lot more than that it's 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 um and this is all okay as long if Bitcoin prices go up a lot, you say, fuck it, uh, I need to do the transaction, let's pay the fee. And I'm still making profit. But um, but just for real utility, Bitcoin, um, it, it's unbelievable how this could happen. This is very negative. The transaction fee has gone up so much. And, and so, in my opinion, the management of Bitcoin is poor. Uh, and they make the wrong decisions. And Bitcoin is a leader. You have many other altcoins that took much better decisions and, and have cheap transactions and will continue to have cheap transactions. But still, I mean, um, Bitcoin has, has, has the brand name. So, 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 some bad news about Bitcoin will reflect on the whole market. Uh, and, and this is bad news. So um, we're all looking up right now. And me too, I'm very tempted to... to, 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 to to stay invested and 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 to to because every day you stay invested you make <laughs> amazing profits so but but yeah it's it's very smart to look at the fundamentals also look at what smart individuals are doing um i talked a, f a few videos back about raul which is last name escapes me raul that invested in iranian stocks you have to check my t uh, past tweets to see that the interview was very interesting. He also invested in Bitcoin and now he sold all his Bitcoin. Uh, he says that he believes more in um, private blockchains and he sees problems in Bitcoin. I, he, he says later he will give more info about that, but I, I don't believe in private blockchains, but I do see serious problems in Bitcoin. So, and then of course you have to just a normal correction and, but the biggest thing I see that people are missing is that they think that Bitcoin will go up as much as it has been in the past, and 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 and, and that's just that's just not realistic. Um, that's not going to happen. Simply because um, past performance is the best indicator of future performance, and in the past, every Bitcoin bubble, Bitcoin has gone up less and less. And so this will probably extrapolate in the future. Um, and, and this is even if Bitcoin is success in adoption, then if the market cap goes times 10 and times 10 and times 10, 
it always goes to a much higher market cap and it needs much more capital to do that and so of course the the percentage increase will be much less it's the same with a startup in beginning the percentage increases are tremendous but as the company becomes bigger and bigger the term the, the percentage increases are much less that's normal this is the same with bitcoin and it's that will happen even if it continues to be a success um and so in this bubble many people think it will go to five thousand even ten thousand dollars i don't think that's they did ever did the calculation because i did the calculation and that's that's not possible ten thousand dollars it is possible but it is very unlikely because that would mean that the trend would be broken from the past every bubble then um it went up for example the first bubble well, I'm not going to give the numbers now, you can check my previous videos about that. But the two times the all-time high is is to be expected, so that would be $2,300. And maybe it's going to go from higher, maybe $2,900, maybe $3,000, but that's on the high end, in my opinion. But but if you look at, in the meantime, altcoins are exploding. And, and, and so if you look at the total market cap of, 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 of cryptocurrency, this has not done just times two, the all time high of Bitcoin, no, no. The all time high of altcoins, look, if the all time high in 2013 of Bitcoin was $1,150. So, okay, times two is, is $2,300, that's true. But, if you look at the market cap in 2013, the market cap of, of, of Bitcoin and all well, and, and all cryptocurrencies was around 13, uh, 13 billion dollars. But 90% of that was Bitcoin and only 10% was altcoins, even at the peak of the bubble. And so altcoins at that time were at the peak of the bubble about 2 billion. And then they corrected to maybe 500 million or so. Yes, yeah, something like that. 500 million maybe a billion uh, one two years later and since then they have gone up to now 30 40 billion altcoins and and, and so it already went times 40 and if you look at the total market cap at the low it was about 3 billion bitcoin plus altcoins in early 2016 and, and, and from the 3 billion, we are now at 70 billion. So we already went times 20 in this bull market. So I, I, I'm going to stick to my with my guns. And I really think that 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 we will pick out around 100 to 150 billion market cap. And that means indeed Bitcoin now 2,050. Yeah, 2,500 is possible. But in the meantime, altcoins will probably go again times two or so. And then we are at 100, 150 billion market cap, and I think uh, that will be it for now. And, uh, and we'll have a serious correction for some time. So, yeah, thinking what else I can say. Yeah, I don't think. I don't I want to party too and sometimes I am partying myself too and, and, and with other people too uh, that, that is such a, so amazing all these profits and, and that is true but um, now is the time to, to lock in profits and so for me the partying will uh, be uh, in half a year or in one year when I realize that I succeeded in, in locking in profits when I realize or not realize but when I know that I was not wrong because now I could be selling too soon and goes there is a small probability it goes a lot higher of course that won't be that great but for me then but i really like like this op opinion on investing or a vision on investing or just what is investing investing is not knowing the future it's 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 estimating probabilities you, you can't know the future but you can estimate probabilities and invest accordingly and and and, and that's my job and and so but of course, we all differ in opinion how, what the probabilities are. And, and, and the only thing that's valid is, is, is to come with data. I do, do that way too little to study data and to give you data. Because that's the hard part. That's the hard job. It's, it's, and of course, you also have like just 
you need to have a feeling and you, you need to be in touch with the market I think for example Frank from Blue Magic Capital does that very well um, um, you need to be able to follow your feelings and, and, and not be governed by fear or greed uh, that's not easy um, the way I do that is I have both parts and, and, and of course it's not nice to call them fearful or greed, greedy but let's call it you have a bullish and a bearish part eh? and, 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 and what I do every day is, is I constantly have negotiations between them eh? my bearish part um, well he's afraid that we lose it all again and so he wants to lock in profits sells altcoin sell Bitcoin but then my bullish part is very bullish and and, and, and thinks that it's not wise to sell you should sell as little as possible and try to cash out on the top eh? um, and so he wants to hold on to all those coins and the other part wants to sell them all so there is a constant negotiation between them that I manage internally I talk to myself I talk with these parts and it's a great way to manage yourself uh, some people don't need all that eh? they just do it naturally very well but I really have to, had to learn this and, and that's how I do it so um, I hope um, that may also be helpful to some of you but the market is for me clearly in a in a bull market already in a bubble already meaning that yes it I am quite certain I think it is quite probable actually I would say 80% probability and that's very high that in the future we'll, we will see lower prices for most coins uh, for Bitcoin uh, yes and for most coins yes uh, there are just a few exceptions but that's smaller coins that have not been discovered or that have great fundamentals and and and, and maybe those not but all the rest yes um, Bitcoin for example is now $2,150 I am I think it's very probable we will see a price below 1,150 sometime in the future, uh, because 1,150 was a previous all-time high, and 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 in the last bull market, in the last bubble in 2013, the the, the price went below the previous all-time high. Then the all-time high was 255. It went to 1,150 and it corrected to 160. So that's 255 was all-time high. 160 was the low. So it went below the all-time high. And so this will likely happen again. Um, and in more, even more percentage-wise. Because, yeah, it's a much... Because it will go up less. Or, or maybe it will not... Sorry, I was wrong. Yeah, uh, It will go below the all-time high. And that was 1,050. So, yes, 1,000, maybe 800. Maybe the low will be this time 700 or 600. That's 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 likely it's not unlikely it's likely so so you sell now bitcoin okay um it may go to three four thousand but still you keep that in fiat you have a very good chance to be able to buy those bitcoins back cheaper and the same is true for all these coins the increases are, that's what really scares me i see a litecoin litecoin is a billion dollars again over a billion It was 100 million or so, or 200 million. Dogecoin, Peercoin even. Namecoin even. Namecoin is 30, 40, 50 million. It was 1 million. Eh? And, and there's so many coins that have gone up so much. Um, it scares me. So, 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 so 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 but it's not easy to sell because i have my bullish part too and you want to keep them so i hope you all succeed also in selling some and locking in some profits bye bye